Do you have any advice or what can you say about Yaqeen Institute run by Umar Suleiman? <laughs> oh, I like the UK. <laughs> I do not advise anybody to go to Yaqeen Institute, nor do I advise anybody to follow their writings or read their writings or watch their videos. Um, we have seen many uh, shubuhat come from their website, including attempts to justify evolution and other watering down of Islam. We have seen ambiguous answers to clear questions like the LGBTQ, XYZ, infinity sign uh, issues that have come up. We have seen many principles of the Sharia that were violated uh, for political gains like locking arms with lesbian princesses or, or uh, priestesses. Um, um, I guess you got princess. <laughs> um, and so on. So I do not advise uh, anybody to uh, go to or benefit from or harm from, I don't know, uh, from Yaqeen Institute. In, in fact, more people are listening to him than maybe others who felt the need to water it down. So let your main concern be, I'm going to follow the truth. And that which is correct. Uh, a few moments later. I stand on the shoulders of his dad, pioneer, African Americans. Not to mention the jewels that he's dropping. I'm happy that this man is here today. He mentioned in Philadelphia an imam who died. He didn't call his name. I'm going to call his name. An imam Asim, rahmatullahi. I stand on that man's shoulders back in Philly. where our brother Dr. Tahir Wyatt is, trying to do what? Give dawah to the whole community of our people, not to this, this corner of people over here. Working with the community of Al-Imam Asim, Rahmatullah Ali. So I know that my people are watching this right now, back in Philly, and I'm going to give a shout out to all of them people, African Americans who preceded us. They didn't hear about the Sunnah like us. Al Imam Siraj Wahaj, Hafidhullah Ta'ala. Every time I go to America, Al Imam Siraj Wahaj gives me access to his masjid, and there's a lot of people there, and he sits right there in the front row with his legs crossed like that. Gives me love. But Minister Farrakhan, my brother, my brother, brother Minister, may Allah bless you. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to start over here. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, a hundred dollars, 16, 17, a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, 18, 19, a hundred dollars, 19, 20, a hundred dollars. And Imam, I pledge for this masjid another $5,000. That's $10,000 from your brother and you can take it to the bank because our word is bond. Who will join me and make a commitment for Master Allah of $10,000? Allahu Akbar. Minister Farrakhan, my brother, my brother. Brother Minister, may Allah bless you. Allahu Akbar. That's two. Brother Minister, I still think we're going to get $300,000. I'm going to show you in one second. 31. This whole group here, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 21, 20, 27, a hundred dollars. Now, brothers and sisters, in my conclusion, we have to bring the minister on. 
But I, I wish somehow we could say that if you want to hear the minister, you got to pay some more money. But I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I, I want to do it, but I, I'm tempted, but we can't. And, and Brother Minister Farrakhan, I want to thank you again for all the great work that you do, for your leadership, all that Allah has blessed you with. Looking forward to hear you. And the only reason I'm stopping now is I want to hear you. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum. Imam, my beloved brother, he knows the Arabic so perfectly. Respite me till the day when they are raised. So may Allah, the Almighty, continue to bless the minister, uh, Farrakhan, and, and the great work that he's, that he's doing. And, and I want the brothers and sisters, especially from the nation, uh, to appreciate our history. And, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us uh, fasting in the month of December. So my beloved uh, believers, I, I, I leave you with this and saying that I love you, Brother Minister Farrakhan, I love you, Brother, uh, Brother Akbar, I love you so much, and Sister Nisa, Nisa and uh, beautiful husband Abdul Jalil, the rest of you, Brother Anthony, and all of you. How am I going to help? How am I going to help not respect and love that man? I'm going to come and call him a mubtadi. No, I stand on that man's shoulders. Do I agree with everything he says and does? No, how can I? And he doesn't agree with everything that I say. But he's my peoples and I'm his peoples. So I pray to Allah that Allah blesses all those brothers, help them to get on the same page, inshallah, and those brothers who have knowledge of the sunnah and they are educated, you can't contain... <laughs> Jidan, Likasawati Mushakibin, Alal Hakti, Wa Ala Hamalatil Hakti.